Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Viper because I promised you a heavy small laser build after fiddling around with it in my Stormcrow and yeah the Viper is perfect for it. Why? Because the heavy small lasers have a big problem. It has an optimal range of 150 meter, which is basically nothing. So you need to get really close, you need to get really intimate. At the same time, the heavy small lasers give you so much damage value compared to the weight. And uh, yeah, our damage potential is, our alpha strike potential is 58.5. That is crazy. Therefore, we are choosing the Viper because the Viper runs 140 kph with speed week and it has eight jump jets to get your, get yourself in a crazy, crazy positions. And uh, yeah, you can get uh, easily into flanking positions. You can get easily into um, backstabbing situations. And if the, the fight is getting too hot for you just get out again and get to cover that's why i love the viper i'm running nine of the heavy small lasers today because i didn't want to stretch it too much you could of course go for more if you have the viper medusa which is the hero mac uh, omnipods uh, that one has uh, three energy hard points in the arm and you could even go for 11 but let me tell you this you fire more than five of the heavy smalls and you will generate ghost heat. Therefore, I'm going for staggered shots. I only fire my five in the in the center torso or in the, in the torso components. And then I fire the four in the arms afterwards. And I think it is enough. You do not need more than that. Also, I wanted to have the four double heat sinks to cool the mech down again. Because that heavy small laser barrage, it will generate heat. The skills look like this. As you can see, I invested basically everything into firepower because I wanted to, you know, maximize my damage potential here. Uh, I went for laser duration because sometimes you are shooting on the run or on the jump and then a shorter laser duration really helps bringing the damage to the point where you want it to be. Also, I'm running full cooldown, I'm running full heat gen for obvious reasons and um, I got all the range nodes, which is uh, a nice to have, I would say. So it doesn't bump up the range like crazy, but I would say every single meter of range counts here because that doesn't get you at so much risk and you can stay a little bit further from the enemy. I skipped survivability because the Viper is very squishy and you do not want to get shot anyway. Therefore, I think amplifying that is not really necessary. Instead, you try to position yourself with mobility. Again, flanking positions, backstabbing positions, that is what you want to do. And therefore, speed tweak and anchor turn really, really helps. I'm skipping jump jets because our jump jetting capacity is already very high with the eight jump jets. The only thing that I probably can't see be worth taking would be uh, heat shielding but uh, if you just um, be easy on the jump jets you do not generate so much heat jumping around i'm running half cool run here we have the three nodes down here it's kind of a no-brainer because we want to cool our mech down at some point running 60 percent radar deprivations because missiles are scary we do not have that much of armor and structure and missiles deal you know crazy damage against all of our components and we want to preserve all of them because we want to preserve our firepower here and we have one consumable slot with a UAV and a cool shot here. That is the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and if you have that don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right first game of the day we are playing Assault on the Grim Plexus. Let's see if we can find our enemies and then you know see them driven before us. Um, hear the lamentation of the women all of that. Um, yeah we've got an Atlas coming in. I see an Atlas in Delta 5. Uh, it seems that he has large lasers. Um, lethal loop recon. Oh, they hit a disconnect. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I want to motivate my team to not stay in Fox 8 and instead do something else. Uh, and therefore, I'm pushing ahead a little bit so that uh, the team sees on the minimap that there is somebody going into the enemy's front line here. We've got a Timberwolf with LRMs, obviously. Um, let's see. Yeah, look at that. He's not aware of my position. Uh, Alpha decided to run all by his welcome. He has small pulse laser, either large lasers and machine guns. So that, that laser thing, it is a problem. I really want to engage him and challenge him, but I'm not entirely sure if I should or can. But uh, since we've got a cicada going with us, we are using his ECM to just sneak up and cover here. And then there's a timber wolf close, Fox 6. Uh, we drop our UAV. There he is. Oh, 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 yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that. Let's try. Let's get behind him. Not enough! Not enough! Let's get out of here. But it was good. <laughs> nice follow up. Thanks, Malice. Ah, yes. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, come back, come back, come back. We are gonna do it again. Um, so, my team has set up on the top. Alright. Their team began to split. They pushed a little bit. That is a dead Timberwolf, guys. 
just like heavy so small lasers. Like, Did definitely. you see that? Oh, so good. It wasn't enough to uh, it, actually. If I'd, um, I think I splashed my damage a little bit with the with the arm mounted follow up there. But yeah, this is what you want to do. You want to shoot the five small lasers from the uh, from the torso first because that's the higher DPS. And then when the enemy is reacting to it, you just follow up with the uh, heavy smalls in the arm. And I, of course, do it because I want to avoid the ghost heat. So team is pushing on the right side. Let's go with them. Let's see if we can get another back step going. Uh, team is pushing right side, boys. Follow up. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. Uh, I wonder how the piranha is playing with heavy smalls. I believe it's uh, even uh, even more nimble. So Annihilator is uh, distracting the enemy. Not quite. Okay. Mm, that was not good. I was not in optimal range for that. Uh, should I go for the fire? This fire starter will screw me over. No, no, that's not good. Um, he has medium pulse lasers, which is uh, definitely scary. Mm, we need to engage differently. Let's engage from the left side more, guys. Right side is a chunk of max there. So I try to get behind the... Oh, also, they have a UAV up. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's try... Oh, 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 oh. more missiles. Quiet. I'm going for Fox 6. There is a Marauder to see with missiles. Malus, I need you. Come on. Bring your cicada. Oh, yeah, he, he, he put us back to the... That won't help you, man. That was not good, but it was okay. There we go! That's exactly what I wanted. So now it's time to get the hell out of here. We use our jump jets. And then we run. Really hope that I can dodge that. Uh, also, we are helping out here. All the backstabbing. All the backstabbing. Come on! And Marauders way out of position. Take his knee. Take his leg. I think that's it. We're gonna take his leg. Both of it. Go for the legs. Who shot? There we go! Yes! Nice one. Uh, Annihilator, Delta is one shot. Can we? Man, I love this. Okay, it's just a snapshot on the run, or on the fly. And we have a great advantage so far. Alright, let's reposition here. This is an Atlas. I do not want to challenge that Atlas. Oh, headshot on the on the Marauder here. Interesting. Um, I do not want to challenge the Atlas up front. That's not a good idea. So let's try to get... Uh, yeah, speaking of it, speaking of it, um, you know what, I'm gonna bait shooting me, bait him shooting me, by flying up here. I think we destroyed the side torso. Ooh, let's get out. Hit and run, hit and run, don't forget the running part. Cool, I mean we have a big advantage here, a huge advantage, 7 and 1. Um, it's partly because we had that very early kill on the Timberwolf. Sorry, I ran in front of you was not that good. Okay, more hitting. There we go. And now we keep up the running again. Love that. I love that skirmish here. It's so fun to play. Oh. Um, actually, let's try to hit you in the center. I mean, he's very damaged. Very damaged. Alright, let's go up and destroy him. Not enough. One more. There we go. Nice game, everybody. Nice game. We got a very early advantage because we killed that Timberwolf. And uh, again, that whole that whole flanking and then flying around distracting the enemy, it absolutely worked out. Also, we did a good amount of damage here. A big chunk of the damage is on our end here. Mostly because we destroyed side torsos like crazy. But anyway, we got one kill, nine assists, two kill most damage dealt. We got 698 uh, 98 damage and three components destroyed. That's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, a second game of the day. We are playing Conquest on the Rubelit Oasis. This is a very hot map, and I probably can only um, Alpha Strike once. So I gotta gotta be very careful with my hit and run shenanigans here. Also, I should not use my jump dreads too much uh, because uh, it will prevent my heat dissipation from going on. And um, yeah, we're going to Theta because we are quick enough. Uh, if there's a light mech coming in, we're gonna challenge him, and, and we will see how it goes down from there. Um, I quickly want to flip Theta. I do not want to stay too long here because this is a very very short and, and, and small map small map and uh, there are a lot of enemies uh, on the ridge with long range uh, very soon so that's uh ooh, kappa oh shit let's go uh, no 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 the thing is 
In this build here, you do not want to be seen. This is the very important thing. And um, as a result, I do not want to engage that. That guy. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, they have a firing line or some mechs in Echo 4. I saw Trebuchet, I saw... You can see that Echo 5 is hot. Um, I'm going to fire. go for the Mislings, though. Mislings is a good target for me. Uh, even more so since we have a lot, um, an, an M friendly light mech already here. So, let's do that. Um, jump over here. Let's not get in his way. Hello, you need to turn around because we... No, oh, actually. You do not need... Oh, you do not need to turn around. Kill the Mislings quickly. Come on, boys. We can do that. Okay, I believe... Yeah, leave... No. I'm, I'm going for the Mislings. You do something else. He popped an artillery strike. Defensive strike. Um, we just stay here for a second. Take cover. You have to it. Yeah, okay. Let's engage from another angle. Let's go. Um, I think Delta 5 is a nice angle here. Enemy Yeah, definitely is. Definitely is. Uh, because we have uh, some assault pushing up here. And uh, I want to go ahead and... Oh yeah, that Kodiak needs to get killed quickly. Um, we can... Ah, come on, let me go in! <laughs> ah, man. I lost momentum because of that. Um, it's not because I want to get that kill, but uh, I want to be quick about that. It's just about timing here, and that Kodiak needs to, you know, die quickly. That, that is it. Okay, going for the Annihilator. Uh, try to harass him and dodge the, the fire, so I would love some follow-up. So, I want to make him hot. Hello. Hello. Let's get behind him. Let's get behind him. Oh, he's putting his back to the wall. Uh, I want a body block. Come on, Annihilator! Ah! Can't do it! I can't do it. Okay, we run around here. Not quite. Man, that thing has structure. That thing has structure. And there we go. Cool. Whew. Okay, I almost died in that encounter. Almost. Uh, I think it's time to cool down a bit, get a little bit of an observation on what's going on on the battlefield. I believe there's a guy Delta below. Six helps. Six helps. Yeah. Damn. Ah. Delta six. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, that was a that was a very tough encounter here. They have a UAV in Echo Six. Mm, I want to go for the Warhawk. Just one shot on the run. Sorry, man. I'm blocked. Okay. Uh, not the best landing spot. And we, we need an angle. We cannot get one right now. Guys, don't be discouraged. We are still in it. New target acquired. On the Hunchback. Hunchback, Charlie is overcommitting. Kill him. Hello. Ah! Alright, somebody followed up with that. That was good. Nice. 4 and 4. We are still in it, boys. New target um, golf. Acquired. Golf on top. Delta 5. I'm going for it. Uh, disregard that. Disregard that. That was a stupid call. Shouldn't have made it. New target acquired. Going for Delta below. The blackjack. Squishy target. No! He's getting getting blocked, body blocked by one of his friendlies. And now I'm going to kill myself. Not quite. Not quite, but almost. I try to rest him as much as I can. Just do the hit and run shenanigans. My team needs to get some... Get some momentum going, though. New target acquired. Oh. Oh. Oh, actually. Uh, on the Huntsman, Echo. He shut down, kill him. My torso is so crit. So crit. I need to cool down. Yes, I'm stretching it a little bit with my structure here. I'm very aware of that. But that guy shut down in front of me. I had to take the shot. Alright. Um, it's again 7 and 4. I'm gonna quick, quickly grab Vader while cooling down. Before I go in, I wanna be at zero need. So. We can just stay here. We have uh, nice meat shields in front of us. It's not enough. Okay. So, engaging again, because now I'm at a, at a good heat. Summoner. Lima. Okay, we got that. Summoners have a lot of structure. So, it's not that easy to bring him down. Nice one. Last one is up top. Gargoyle up top. Hello. I'm here. 
There we go! Whew. That was a tough game. But we made it out alive with 38%. That was cool. I, mean, I love this build so much. It's so fun to play. If you like, like hit and run, just try it. Try the Viper with heavy small lasers. Anyway, we got one kill. We got 10 assists, 741 damage with 7 components destroyed. That is your daily dose, everybody. That was the Viper with the heavy small lasers. And if you enjoyed that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.